Yep, I got them blocked off over there. Now they're pouring out of there now. Wow. I mean, they're steadily. I mean, groups, gobs of them. I mean, you could, we could literally spot the queen coming out any second with them coming out like that. She might have already, she could have already come out. I mean, look how many bees are in the box. Man, they're working that thing. The ones that have been in there are, are leaving now. They're, they look young, like young bees, too. So if the queen comes out the way you see her, she's just much larger? She's larger, yeah. Number two. Number three. And number four. Right here in front of the front door here. Okay, so I came back to the uh, bee house today. This is the first column here that uh, I'm doing a trap out on. And I had to add another box to this, uh, to this hive right here because that top box right there was full of bees packed. And I still have a lot of bees that are still in the column right now and coming out. So, Look on this side here. Seems like I've got them trapped out pretty good so far. And uh, now I'm just trying to get them to come down what I did too, since the entrance is so far down now. I just stuck a shim under the top to where bees can, just enough space for a bee to go in and out. So they'll start migrating down and into the box, which they're already starting to do. So, I'll come back in a little bit and show you how it's looking. Okay, I just want to show number two. Here. Um, what they were doing is I had to add some more screen on the cone there because they were coming back in the end. And uh, put a Q-tip with lemongrass oil in the box. And hopefully they'll start coming down to the box shortly. Okay, so this is number two. Right here, and I put a shim under the lids on these so the entrance will be a little closer to the hive there. Number three. Um, they were going back in the end of the cone there, so I made it longer and pointed it down just a tad. And uh, I'm not sure if they're still finding their way back in yet. Seems like they might be, but number four, I think I've got number four locked out pretty good. Same thing, I put a little shim under the lid there so they have a spot they can go in a little closer to them. And, uh, okay, so it's June 20th, day number 19. And I've had to come back multiple times because I'll plug this stuff with the uh, AC filter, these holes. And they'll just make another hole right next to it. So now what I'm doing is I'm going around this with uh, eighth inch hardware cloth and stapling it up. And hopefully I'll get these girls locked out this time. And we'll see. We'll come back later.
day 25. I believe we've got them all in the box here. Still gonna leave this for a couple more weeks. Let them make this home. And then I'll be back to move these girls. No activity on the cone or around the column anymore. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna smoke these bees a little bit to get them to go in. And then I'm gonna close the entrance here. And I'm gonna move these girls today. Cause they've taken into the box. The rest of them to go in here. I'm gonna try and get the rest of them. I'll give them a minute cause they're, they're moving their, their way in here. And then I'm gonna tape up the uh, entrance. So this is the bees. This is the bees from the uh, first column removal I've got them all out and in these boxes this will be the first time I've opened and looked at them so let's check it out They started on this side here. I'm not sure if you can. Right. Seems like there's a lot of drone brood up top. A lot of drone brood so far. Not a good sign. Let's see, I'm gonna take another one of these springs out. Know. Man, they are packing the food away. A lot of drone brood. I'm not seeing any kind of a queen here. So I'll probably have to re-clean these girls. Next frame looks like food and drone brood. So I'm gonna have to uh, fix these girls. But I'm seeing Cells, <clears throat> it looks like. Yeah. 
on in the fingertip there. Here's another cell at the bottom of this frame right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave them alone. Let them re-clean here. bees in there out of that first column so uh, they're trying to requeen their self though so I'm gonna let them be and let them do their thing bees out of the way so I can kind of see her. There she is. Oh, I don't want to get her though. She's right. I'm sure you can see her tail right in there. So let me put this down so I can catch her. Pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay. All the bees are out. The queen came out of this one. The first column, the biggest one, uh, the queen never came out. Never seen her. But I got these girls. Now I'm going to vacuum the rest of these bees and I'll be back. So now I've, uh, since I vacuumed both uh, columns or the, the rest of the bees from both columns into the vacuum box, I did catch two queens. So I caged both of them. Put them down in here. I know you see the clip there. See if you can see the cage there at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the bees just walk in these boxes. I put one frame of comb in here, drawing comb, and now we're going to release these bees out of here and let them walk in. So. Pull these caps. Pull those caps. And there's the bees. Oh, there's some right there. Oop. They should start going over to these boxes once they smell their cream should start going into these boxes here very shortly so let me shake the rest of these girls out oh my little shims so this was two different hives I'm assuming they just separated their self I don't see a bunch of dead bees in here but I'm gonna I'm gonna knock them out here on the board there. 
let them figure out they know they can smell their their queen they'll know better than i will let them figure out where they're supposed to go there Wasn't too many bees, I already got most of them. But the queens uh, didn't come out till really late, so. So some are starting to fan and go in here. her out of the cage um, they seem to be being pretty gentle to her so they're just kind of checking her out she's submitting they fed her a little bit and now I'm just trying to kind of keep an eye on them to make sure they're not gonna hurt her if they're gonna hurt her I'll cage her back up but so far, it looks pretty good. So they turned on that bee. I'm not sure where that bee came from. But they're protecting their queen, obviously, it looks like. Because the queen's okay, but they're stinging that other bee right next to her. So I think they're keeping that bee from touching her. Her tail is right there. She's fine. Sticking up. The other bee was not so good. Put a little pollen patty in here too for these bees because they didn't have any pollen, but they do have honey. So I'm gonna close these girls up. I feel pretty good about it. And I'm gonna leave them alone. For a little while. 